day, all week. It's going to be a long time because are we going home? No! Are we sleeping on Wall Street? Yeah! In June, the anti-consumerist group Adbusters called on people to occupy Wall Street beginning on September 17th and for as long as it would take to make a difference. Adbusters didn't follow it up with much of any organizing, but a group of young activists in New York, calling itself the General Assembly, took it upon themselves to prepare for and guide the action. They sought to do so in a way consistent with the democratic, egalitarian world they wanted to create, even down to the level of quick decisions about tactics. What do you think about locations for the General Assembly? I mean, the cops are, are everywhere. They're trying to, uh, you know, they're trying to contain things. You know, how are you planning ahead? Right, um, we knew by calling something, uh, any given convergence point, it was likely that the cops were going to shut it down. And so our idea, we have backup plans. We, they're not like uh, public yet because we don't want the cops to just shut down another space. So we do have backup plans of specific locations, backup plans of backup plans. So we are pretty prepared for it. And uh, the, the issue is going to be bring, um, getting a bunch of people from one space to another. All day, the the all General week. Assembly prides itself on, uh, insists on a horizontal decision-making structure. So how uh, are decisions going to be made in the moment? Um, we've set up a communications infrastructure. Um, um, there are people um, who are responsible for uh, scoping things out, um, uh, deciding contingency plans based on circumstances that are presented to us. So yeah, we've made a lot of um, uh, preparations for this, just this sort of unpredictable kind of thing. So you were involved in the Bloombergville protest, right? Yes, I was. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, um, Bloombergville was a... a three-week encampment. Um, we occupied the space outside of City Hall, and we were there protesting general austerity measures in New York City. So what's the connection between Bloombergville and this? Well, we, uh, we have a base of people, many of whom have been involved in activism and occupations for, for decades. And then we have this group of really young people who've just experienced Bloombergville and have a lot of experience to bring to the table at this event. And um, and so while, I mean, the beauty of this, of this whole thing is that there is no coherent leader. There is no coherent uh, structure in place that's guiding us all. It's just this general unrest that's brought many different groups, many different points together here today. They're going to be there before us. You tell it, they're going to be there. They're going to have that park squared off. Uh, there was a big decision about whether to stay at the bottom end of um, Bowling Green, uh, which is where a large group was massed, kind of by accident, actually gathered by um, a big uh, uh, shouting match with the police and then a speech by Reverend Billy. The crowd gathered there and seemed pretty safe. So the decision was about whether to stay there or whether to go to the backup meeting place for the General Assembly. Now the General Assembly was initially supposed to meet at Chase Manhattan Plaza. That had already been barricaded. So now we're moving up to Zuccotti Park, up Broadway, a few blocks. They don't know how the police are gonna respond and that's what we're about to find out. that people are moving toward the idea of doing a general assembly or I mean it seemed earlier like there was a call to have a big march and there was a lot of the usual kind of protest uh, slogans being shouted out. Do you think that a group this size you know, can buckle down and do that? Um, yeah, I mean we've seen it in Spain and Greece and um, it's definitely possible here to, to have the same sort of momentum and, um, and I also think you know there, there was a call for you know regular protests with chants and you know we heard the same chant like what does democracy look like or you know whose streets are streets um, and I think it's just a pattern that people fall into like that's what they think a protest is supposed to be is what they think like uh, an assembly is supposed to look like um, so it's a real uh, shift um, in people's attitudes and, and minds and um, so but 
it looks like now they're actually they're starting to form assemblies, and um, so we'll see we'll see how it goes. The exact um, framework of the encampment itself will also be decided um, by the General Assembly. Um, you know, it might not be necessary that a consensus is reached where everyone sleeps in one location. Some people might sleep on the streets um, if they want to, um, you know, stay here legally. Others might try to sleep in the park. Um, but yeah, well, that will be determined as well. Hello. Hi, how are you? I'm, I'm Lucas Vasquez. I'm an organizer here at the Occupy Wall Street encampment. Um, we hear that you own the property that you, we're on right now. Right, um, and I, I hear you guys have let us stayed here. Uh, is that correct? Uh, stayed here as an encampment. Okay. Okay. So he said... They have not allowed us to sleep over, um, and he said that we will be arrested for trespassing if we sleep over. His words. So, he, he seemed very like, no, 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 no. Um, there's not a chance. We, you will, you're not allowed to sleep over. This is private property. You will be arrested, you know. And it seemed like he, he, he was just very, like, very aggressive with it. I, I didn't see any, like, chance of some compromise. Hundreds of protesters met in a general assembly and working groups into the night, and they made the decision to stay in Zuccotti Park. By around 10 o'clock, police had surrounded the park in a show of force, as if they were ready to clear it. But an hour later, most of them had disappeared. What militancy some protesters voiced earlier quieted for the night into music, talking, and the laying out of sleeping bags. <laughs>